Hi, I'm Rebecca M. Carroll, founding member of The Coaching Educator, and we are on the fourth little presentation on the FAFSA. We're going over piece by piece what you may encounter, and now we are at the SAR, which is the Student Aid Report. A Student Aid Report is basically what you put into the FAFSA, and it's just a little different format. You can print it out, and you actually just review it to make sure that everything in there is exactly what you said. So here you have your federal student aid. They let you know um, this is the final little processed information. And as you can see at the top, it says processed information. This is a student aid report. It's just an example. And it basically tells you that here is your SAR. This actually comes to you in an email. It goes to the student and the student will open it up and this is basically what you see. Now here is just like I said, this is what the FAFSA form looks like printed out. So they ask you to look at have, you know, is all this information correct? It really feels like you have to do something with this and you don't. It's a good thing to review and make sure that you have everything in there in the correct manner. But if you're pretty confident that you have everything in there that you need and that it's all looking right, you have the right address, you've spelled everything correctly, the amounts you've put in properly, you've gotten your information off your W-2, which makes it easier when you have your W-2 to put those correct amounts in. And then that is the end of it. So the student aid report is basically to look at whether or not you filled it out properly. I encourage people to just print it out and stick it in their file. You don't have to print it out. You can go back to that email if for some reason you do need to print it out. And that ends the SAR, student aid report.